Uh, <coughs> hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you some <coughs> keyboard shortcuts I normally use when I work my projects in Neplan. <coughs> They're very useful and they speed up your work, which I found very <laughs> convenient since we normally always have total time to finish our projects. So, <coughs> for example, a nice one would be if you would like to, for example, copy this element, uh, motor overload switch, <coughs> uh, to another page, and you would say <coughs> Ctrl C and page down, you would say Ctrl V, like in Windows, so uh, some of the shortcuts are working like in Windows, then you would press y and x so you see the click connection uh, over here <coughs> uh, right in the uh, top uh, in the corner <coughs> for example i write my name you can see over there so once again ctrl v y and x then you place your element on the exact same position uh, as it was on the previous page and then press enter do not or number go down number enter that's it escape so when you go back page up so page on page up you can see the element is on the exact same position this I find this very useful just to, uh, to to have your pages your schematics nicer done. After all, we are technicians, engineers, so our schematics should look also aesthetically nice, accurate, and so on. <laughs> so the second would be, <clears throat> for example, yeah, as I said, normally Ctrl C and Ctrl V or uh, Ctrl F are the same like in Windows. Then the next one would be very useful, very, uh, if uh, you press the uh, letter U, your keyboard, if you have some hidden objects, for example, you would, uh, you edited your plot frames and you want to have some reference lines, for example, for your uh, phases over here or, or just uh, at the bottom for PE line for ground conductor and uh, neutral conductor. In that case, you would like to see them, but you wouldn't, wouldn't want to plot them, to print them. Let me show you how this works. <coughs> so this element, we'll edit this element a little bit. <coughs> we'll say that display just the DT device tag of the element would be invisible. So click yes, invisible. <coughs> Why? Okay. So you can see that <coughs> since I already pressed the uh, letter U on my keyboard, it's visible. If I press again, I won't see it anymore. So, for example. Now, if I <coughs> press Ctrl P, <coughs> if I would preview, would like to preview this page, just as print preview, I can see that this my, my element is not visible over here. So my device tag, the, door, the part of the symbol I choose to be invisible. So escape, cancel. <coughs> That's it, invisible. Another very useful thing would be the letter. I on the keyboard, press I, that's an insertion point, you can see that over here, view visible elements or insertion points, or PS yeah of course it doesn't work at the same time, view, <coughs> that's on the uh, visibility and as I said, A <coughs> or I, sorry, I, 
high for the essential points. That's practically that means uh, in that example, let's press uh, letter T, the keyboard. Let's say that this I would, I would like to input something. So this is a, a motor protection device. I would say that this is a pair function text, so that it's a logical text, so this element would take over this description over here in some reports later. So I can see that my uh, element is hanging on the cursor at the moment, and I would like to place it on the same line uh, as the insertion point over here of the element. So in that case, this element would uh, take over this description, so this text over here, some reports, I don't know, device tag, overview, or something like that, in this case, or cables, or terminals, and so on. We can go ahead to, uh, for example, this terminal can create, so once again, Once again, for this terminal or these terminals, we can uh, uh, create a report just to, or we have already those, yes, we have. So this will be X1 in, in the cabinet, X1. So at the moment, we don't have any <coughs> function text in that case, so we can, for example, go to our supply this page. <clears throat> we can insert over here some uh, pair function text. Let's say that's uh, so. There's just the terminals, or main terminals <clears throat> for those. For this, uh, of course. Once again, check this over here. Pair function text box. Then. We will go to our XX1, we'll go to utilities reports update, and in that case, you will see now <coughs> main terminals for our also the same thing for every other over here for the terminals. <coughs> As I said, an insertion point. Uh, that's it. That's that's what I normally use. So, <clears throat> what's uh, one another trick? You always should work create on schematics in a four millimeter grid, according to I E C, because the symbols in E plan are also created prepared for this grid. Just as, ex as an ex exception, if you do, do want to place a little bit more elements on your page, then you would use the grid B, in my case, the default setting, so 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 millimeters. If you want to see the middle grid, you can do it over here. So. Uh, as I said, normally four millimeters read and, and as a, an exception, two millimeters. Never use other one. Or of course, the bigger ones is even better. Not one millimeter or uh, zero point one and so on. It would be a disaster and would really slow up, slow down your your design work. <clears throat> as I said, one more tip for me. You select, for example, these terminals over here, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now, if you want to, <coughs> there's another way to place the element, so I'll just show you. So you can use your arrows, and since you already have this setting step to grid, you can move it around with your the elements you want to copy. Based, you can move around around your grid. So, 
So, enter, number, OK, that's it. That's all for this video. If you're interested in private lessons, you can contact me on my email. The, uh, the info, contact info is in the, in the description of this video. And if you have any suggestions that I could create some videos on other topics, just comment. And I'll do it for you. So enjoy ePlan. And as I said, stay brave working with ePlan. It's not easy.